Hey there, I wanted to make a quick video on using the different filters with URL to do things like parse and get URL arguments uh, just based on your post. I think there's an opportunity where uh, other people might be able to learn from this. So let's say you're taking in a URL and this is actually kind of the example you're using. There is a YouTube video and then you have this argument at the end. This one is watch V equals and then some video ID, right? And you actually want to um, grab that video ID there, right? That argument ID. So what you have right now is you're, you're taking in this input, which is great. And then you're using this, uh, URL underscore DL argument, um, which parses a URL and returns the updated version with the supplied argument removed. Okay. So that, what that does and in what you have in your key, you actually have, um, here this whole URL up to the key. Um, so what this would actually do, this would actually uh, remove the URL argument and return the updated URL. So the key here actually isn't uh, this full thing. It's actually gonna just be V. So anytime you see in a URL that question mark and then some kind of string equals, whatever is between that question mark and the equal sign is the key and after the equal sign is the value, okay? So what this does here now, let me go ahead and save this and let's rerun this. So what this should do is this should return everything up from um, HTTPS all the way to watch and get rid of this question mark with the key value. So if I go ahead and run this, you can see we get YouTube watch. But what if I wanna actually get that key at the end that starts, or sorry, that value at the end that starts with 8MDM, yada, 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 what do I wanna do? So let's go ahead Let's remove this filter and let's search for our URL, um, different filters. So what we want now is actually URL get argument. You can see this gets the arguments value from a URL. So let's go ahead and select this. Our key here, once again, is going to be V. And then the text, uh, this is default used if no argument is found in the URL. So depending on your use case, you might wanna set a default value there. I'm not going to for this use case. So once again, we're taking in that URL and we're looking for uh, our argument, which is V, and then we should return this value here on the end. So if we run this, now we get our actual value. Um, and just looking at some of these other URL argument ones. So we have um, URL parse, which parses a URL into its individual components. So if we go ahead and run that, you can see we get uh, the scheme, host, path, and the query all into separate components in a JSON object so that we can actually uh, maybe use some of this information dynamically. So that's URL parse, which is uh, very handy actually. If we go back here, has argument. Well, this is just gonna return true or false if that argument exists. So if I put in V here, right? This would just return true. If I had another key name in here, it would return false because obviously um, there's only one argument in this one. Um, and then you already saw it, delete argument, add argument would parse URL and returns updated with an encoded version of the supplied argument. So this is if we wanted to actually uh, add some sort of argument, like uh, let me say, let me put like name here and the value is Michael. We could either optionally do uh, this RFC 3986 encoding. You, I'm just gonna leave that as false for now, but you can see if I run this now, well, now it adds in another argument, name equals uh, Michael. So that's it just real quick on all these different URL argument filters. Add argument, you saw that added key uh, name, value equals Michael, delete argument, removes it so you kind of just get the, the base URL before any of the, that argument. Uh, get argument actually gets that value of what you're looking for. Remember the key is gonna be after that question mark before that equals has argument, just true, false, if that argument exists, and then parse uh, so you can get each of the components in an object.